Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to access to EBSCO. So I'm going to give you a tip here in this box. You can search anything you need exactly as you are looking into Google. But in this case, the tip I'm going to, I'm going to give you is omit articles, definite articles, indefinite articles or prepositions, and just type specific words like dictionary words or general terms in order that the database can uh, filter the information you're looking for, okay? So in this case, you're going to type just biology and genetics and you're just click on search. And here you're going to find the results, okay? So just explore, you can see videos, you can see the text, full text in HTML or the full text in PDF. For example, let's explore this one. You're going to click on the first one. And once inside, you can see the different options in the left or on the left, in the center and on the right, okay? So in the left, for example, on the left, you can see here the full text. And let's see how, what can we uh, use this a lot. Uh, it's really useful because if you don't want to read it, you can listen, all right? You can listen the complete article, yes, for example. You can listen. So we describe the, an advanced inquiry driven undergrad. Awesome. So the system is going to read the article for you. And if you want to see the full text PDF, you just click on the left on the click on the text and you are going to see exactly how it appears on the professional review or in the professional magazine or something. Right. So you can see here the article and you can do your um searching or reading and you can take notes and something like that finally how to quote you can use on the right the different options you can download it you can print it uh something really useful i'm going to show you is how to quote how to cite for in, in different formats like mla or apa etc so uh, to quote just click on this uh, piece of paper in, in yellow you click on it and you're going to see the different formats to copy the reference. For example, here you can see the MLA, the ninth edition. So you're going to copy this and paste it in your uh, worksheet or in your standard essay or something. It's really useful. Also, you can send it to your email, you can print it, or you can save it into your Google Drive. Okay, I hope you like it. If you want to return, you just click here in, in results list and you continue doing your searchings, right? You continue doing exploring, rolling up or rolling down and see, um, feel free to explore freely the topic you are looking for. I hope you like it. See you next time for our next video. Bye-bye.